pink? Are you a stalker? Stop crying victim. That's their way of manipulation, okay, of manipulating people. That's also a form of gaslighting where the person who's being bullied, the victim, questions their sense of reality. And when somebody bullies you long enough and hard enough, and that is violence, that is a form of violence through manipulation. So gaslighting is when, you know, you're bullied, even once is too much, but when you're bullied so much, you actually stop and question your own reality, like, maybe I deserved it, or maybe I did that because she said that. Mm -mm. No, so no, you're valid. feeling crazy? That is, is that what you're saying? And unfortunately, words like gaslighting, like bullies, like integrity, um, are overused so much in this person's lives that it has lost its meaning to her. Well, okay. purple, it I looks like we have heard from back. Now we Hello? need to hear what you um, have to say about this. Oh, so as we know, someone out there has lost their fucking mind and it's really starting to scare me a little. And it's starting to scare Patreons a little because it's become obsessive, like seriously obsessive. I don't even want to mention her name and I don't even have to mention her name and the whole world's going to know who I'm talking about. But it's really starting to scare me, like for real. Okay, Jules and Donna, I need your help on this one. Let's see what Kiki's got to say about this too. Scope out here, you know. You don't like me because I see right through your fake ass. I see right through your fake facade. I see right through your fake hair, your fake nose, your fake voice, your fake laugh, your fake, 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 fake. Everything about you is fake. You know, you, you always deflect. You're always excusing why you do this and you're that. You, know, you take no ownership. Always oh boy, Kiki seems did very you. upset you about know, something. Just go Let's get see if we can figure out girl. why she's so angry. I've had bad days, I've had good days, I've had days that I look like shit, I've had days that I look great. Just fucking show your face, show who you are. Stop fucking hiding behind these stupid ass filters. Every single video this girl does is about me, but she hides behind filters. And I made a comment about Tifi, um, like, you know, poor little Tifi, or get some Tifis. Like, mine may be crooked, but at least I have them. Um, <clears throat> and she just, every fucking video she makes about me is ridiculous. But you can't even hear her, you can't even fucking understand her. It's like, hey, with her fucking filters. It's like, you're a grown woman. You don't need fucking filters. You want to use a filter? Use like a white filter, Jules, orange filter or something. Donna, Snapchat help filters. me, it's so annoying. please. What can Colors you do with filters, like these boards? girls? Am I too mean? Help. Those monsters. We're going to have games at the Coliseum this evening, I suspect. I won't be there to watch it. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to be a spectator in the Coliseum screaming and clapping with glee as one person gets over on the other. It goes against my nature. It's not who I am. Who am I? Well, I'm the person who stands up in the middle of the restaurant and yells at the man to take his hands off his own child who he is spanking. Well, hey, y'all. Crazy Nurse Granny here. Now, listen, I know some people might be upset with me for showing these clips of these lovely ladies but my point is that these women are in conflict but this is only one small aspect of who they are they are all loved and they are all seen as beautiful by people in this world and because they are in conflict with each other doesn't mean that they're not all very special people in their own way we determine who we see as beautiful and who we love 
by our thoughts and our emotions. And everybody has different feelings and thoughts. That's why we choose to be attracted to different people that we have adoration for. And we're all different. But because we live in this world together, there's going to be conflict. Because everybody's so versatile. And not everyone's going to get along. And that, unfortunately, is just a part of humanity. See this fire burning? This fire is being ignited by energy. And that energy is oxygen, just like human beings. We are energized. And our passion rises up inside of us, just like you see in this fire. And we reach a point where we explode. We all have explosive moments. And sometimes those moments can be very positive. And sometimes they can be very negative. But the beautiful thing about it is maybe we can learn from all of those explosions. I don't know about all of you, but watching all these different characters on the internet, it causes me to learn more about myself and more about humanity. Now, I know today I have shown you some negative aspects of humanity and some positive aspects of humanity. We're all real. But the most important thing is we keep everything in perspective of how is it truly important in the scheme of our life in the long run. Let's agree to disagree Let's agree to like and dislike. Let's agree to love without having to feel like we have to give to that person if we don't actually love them. There's a difference between love and like. Liking someone means that their personality and their attributes were drawn to. But love is just something we give to everyone in need. People are showing their true selves on the internet. Let's look at them and learn from them. We don't have to be hurtful. We don't have to cause pain. Now, I would like to end this on a positive note. Jewels of Thought. She has a YouTube channel. I don't know if you noticed the words that she said, but those words resonated not for YouTube, but they resonated in my life. Now, all these women have a lot of beautiful characteristics, and they all have things to give to the world. But I would like to emphasize Jules. Jules, she has empathy, intelligence, beauty, compassion. She's giving. She's caring. And she does YouTube for a hobby but she loves to interact with others she loves to share her knowledge from her experience and she goes at the side of the psychological aspects of things so if you're someone that likes to think about what makes people tick you would enjoy her channel okay i hope you learned something from this episode. The next episode is going to have all the house guests and we're going to discuss a little about, about each one and then you will be choosing two people you want to vote out of the Big Brother YouTube streaming house. Now remember this is just all for fun and entertainment and maybe we can learn a few things along the way. This is Crazy Nurse Granny here Signing off, do you have a fire burning in you? Use it. Love you.